Okay, so everybody, you probably remember Raymond Michael Weber. Crazy guy that killed two women in a, a military apartment. Well, here's a little bit of an update. I um hadn't gotten information on the females that were involved, so this is what it's covering. This was updated February 3rd by CBS 13 staff. Police say 29-year-old Raymond Michael Weber of Sacramento is suspected of killing two females in the Rocky Hills apartment, a military housing complex in Vacaville, on January 3rd. On, no, on January 30th, IG Live. He did this on live stream. Vacaville police confirmed to CBS 13 that 26-year-old Savannah the Berg of Utah was one of the victims. Her mother says Savannah called her last week to say that she was engaged to Weber and that they were going to California. Wow. The other victim, identified only by police as 15-year-old Elk Grove girl, was also found dead. Vacaville police say they are looking into human trafficking as a factor leading up to the deaths. Weber is facing several criminal charges, including two counts of first-degree murder, and domestic assault. He appeared in the courtroom on Tuesday wearing a gray and white striped inmate jumpsuit and a blue face mask. He was ordered to undergo com undergo a comp competency exam. He is due back in court sometime in March. Gotta see. Let's get a date to discuss the results of that exam. Weber is reportedly an Army veteran, but is not currently an active duty soldier and has no ties to Travis Force Base, according to a base spokesman. Why was he in a military uh, apartment? And this was him in court on February 2nd in Vacaville. Wait a minute. Okay. Michael Weber in court two twenty I mean two two twenty one. He is accused of killing two females, one fifteen and one twenty six in Vacaville on two yeah, they got that date wrong. How can you be in court before you kill somebody? Anyway, it was January thirtieth, not February, okay. He was sought by police in 2014 for questioning after his brother, Antoine Weber, allegedly shot and killed Raymond's girlfriend, 19-year-old Nicole Duhart. She died two days, late, two days later. Raymond was believed to be present at the time of the shooting. Weber is the older brother of a local rapper named Marcus Weber, who goes by the name of Uzzy Marcus. Okay. So we do know that. What I don't know is about the females. Okay, now this this is what I want to know. This is actually an update. For, this is uh, from March 2nd. Perfect. Let's find out about the females. Two females, including a 15-year-old, killed their bodies live-streamed by the accused killer. CBS 13's Melina Jones is live in Elk Grove, where the 15-year-old was once a student there, Melina. Well, tonight, as friends and family mourn, Vacaville police tell me they are working with another agency in relation to that 15-year-old girl's death and trying to determine what led her to that Vacaville apartment. Days after Raymond Weber allegedly killed two women and live streamed their naked bodies on social media, Vacaville police say they're looking into human trafficking as a factor in what led up to their deaths. Most of them have a risk factor. 
Weber appeared in court today. Vacaville police identifying one of those victims tonight as 26-year-old Savannah the Burge. Investigators are not releasing the name of the second victim, a 15-year-old girl. However, the principal of Elk Grove Unified sent a letter about the student's death Monday, offering parents counselors to help their students process. The young girl's age, an indicator for when some girls first start being targeted for human trafficking. It can escalate very quickly. Beth Hassett, CEO of Weave, a nonprofit that works with sexual assault survivors, says in most human trafficking cases, the victim doesn't realize what's happening. The person who's going to traffic them starts to starts to groom them and you know build trust with them perhaps start what feels like a relationship and really lures them away from whatever stability they have into the streets and and then they run away with the average age of a woman first being trafficked ranging from 12 to 14 as it says caretakers should look for these warning signs they have a much older boyfriend that's one thing um, if they are coming home with new clothes new shoes she says the best thing to do is to talk to your children if if somebody is a trusted adult in the child's life that can make a huge difference the family of the 15 year old is asking law enforcement to not release her identity at this time weber is being held without bail and is expected to be back in court in three weeks Okay, this is the female found in apart the apartment with Raymond Michael Weber dead on the floor while he was streaming IG Live. This really threw me for a loop because, I mean, I never had um heard what their relationship was supposed to be. And allegedly, this girl was preparing to marry this guy. I don't know how long she had known him or any of that, but she called her mother told her mom she was moving to California with her fiancé and she was going to meet his family and she showed her mom the new ring. So how did we get here? But then they're also talking about human trafficking. So this is confusing. They are not identifying the 15-year-old girl. I'm not sure why, because usually they do identify people who are deceased, even if they are minors. But they did say the family is asking them not to. Let's dig into this. What happened? The Berg's mother, Inya Taylor, the Berg of Georgia, says Savannah called her the week of Je January 18, 24, to say she was engaged to Weber and showed her the ring. She also said the two were going to California to meet his family. Taylor the Berg also said that her daughter and Weber had been involved in the past and it did not go well. What? How far in the past, I wonder? Hmm. The Berg identified her daughter in the video from her tattoos and other distinguishing features. Oh my God, that had to be horrific for her mother. Taylor the Berg said Savannah had been manipulated by Weber. Damn. She was a good girl and this was somebody that manipulated her and took advantage of her. She was not a drug addict, a street person. She explained, Savannah was recently employed by FedEx in Utah. She left behind a four-year-old son. A friend of Savannah described her as an amazing mother. She was an amazing mother and did everything that she could to make her little boy happy. Grubb said, The name of the teenage victim has not been released. Weber is in jail facing Several criminal charges, including two counts of first-degree murder and domestic assault. What the hell? I mean, I just don't understand what happened here. But yet he was saying that they tried to set him up. So let's listen at his, uh, his version of what's going on. I'm 
What in the Sam hell is going on in this household? How do two brothers come to this? This man is saying, and you guys heard him. He kept saying that Uzzy Marcus set him up. And Shady, I don't know who Shady P is, but we all know by now, Uzzy Marcus is his brother. He said he tried to set him up, sent them at him, and that he said, tell Uzzy Marcus he's next. What? Yeah, this this guy, I, I would love to know how his competency exam went, but I guess we'll be getting that information soon because they said that he will be going back to court in March, and we are in March, so look for an update, guys. <laughs> 